Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. This is lesson number 18 and we are still in improper integrals. And we learned type 1 and type 2 improper integrals. And today we are going to learn a very special case and a very important case in improper integrals. So, as always, the five important points. So, let's start. Okay, so type 1, what does type 1 mean? In type 1, one of the limits will be infinity or minus infinity. In type 2, we discussed about simple problems. And simple problems, the end point of the integrals will make the function tend to infinity. That means if you plug in A or if you plug in B, in the function, then the function value will shoot to infinity. And the method was very simple. We find the troublemaker. Troublemaker means the point which makes the function infinity and such points are called singular points. So we find the singular points and erase them. If the troublemaker is the lower point, we put A plus H and if the troublemaker is the upper point, the upper limit we make b minus h anyway let's go for the question i kept on asking for a long time improper integrals so write the question evaluate the integral minus 1 to 1 1 by x square dx so look at this you give this question to someone in class 11 who just started learning integration they will be very happy and they will get an answer but that is wrong because this is an improper integral. Now, look at this. I want you to analyze. I want you to think about all the numbers between minus 1 and 1. Or you can even think like this. When will this function become infinity at 0? So, basically, 0 is the villain. And it is in between. In this problem, it is exactly at the middle. And it is in between. So, in such problems, the first thing to do is, so this I will call it type 2 special case. So, in type 2 special case, what you do is, you find the troublemaker and use the properties of definite integrals and split it into two. So, that both the integrals will become type 2 simple problems. What do you mean by type 2 simple problem? The end point will be the troublemaker. See, I made the midpoint into the end point. Okay, now as before, I'm going to get uh, a little bit behind this and I'm going to go a little bit ahead. I'm going to put h dash and h here. And here I'll write limit h tends to 0. I hope you can read it from a root very small. And here I'll write limit h dash tends to 0. That's it. That's it. Okay. Now, as always, write the integral uh, in a box or on one side of your notebook or your examination paper. And 1 by x square is a standard integral. So, the integration is already over. And in the next step, um, let's try to put the limits. So, limit h tends to 0 um, minus 1 by x within minus 1 to minus h plus limit h dash tends to 0 minus 1 by x from h dash to 1. And this is equal to limit h tends to 0 we can keep this minus outside if you want or you can plug in with minus okay because this minus and minus will make it plus 1 by h um, now you have to be very careful because there is a minus here upper limit minus lower limit and there is another minus here and there is a third minus when you plug in this value so together we get minus itself and plus limit h dash tends to 0. So, we have minus 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 1 
and when you plug in the lower limit minus minus will be plus 1 by h dash and 1 by 0 is infinity 1 by 0 is infinity so this uh, is equal to infinity so bad news and anyway I'm going to call it equation number one now look at this in type 2 special case you should not stop with this you have to do one more thing and that is called and here you have to write something general value does not exist uh, actually what I did is I told you I will delete a few numbers I know 0 is the villain so from this side I erased a few numbers and from this side I erased a few numbers but I have kept the distance completely different here and that is how we do generally so we had right here the general value does not exist or you can write the general value is divergent or generally the integral diverges now we go for a special value that means what we do is we try to erase equal distance from both sides and this special case is called the principal value because in the examination they might ask uh, evaluate the principal value if the general value does not exist so principal value all you have to do is you have to put h equal to h dash so the students who don't like logic just put h equal to h dash that is why I call this as equation 1 so we can plug in that value here and you'll get limit look at this uh, I'll do it for you I'm going to erase everything so that you can focus properly this is equation 1 uh, what I do is I have to put h dash I see I'm erasing that h dash this is exactly what you're supposed to do okay now uh, this limit will come common so I'm going to write limit h tends to 0 1 by h minus 1 and then minus 1 plus 1 by h uh oh we are going to have more trouble so limit h tends to 0 2 by h minus 2 that is again infinity so even the principal value does not exist so the general solution does not exist principal solution does not exist so basically the integral is always divergent okay let's go for another important question uh, like this shall we start yeah so please write the question evaluate the integral minus 1 to 2 1 by x cubed dx I checked a few past past years question paper and I found this question in one I guess I think they have asked once okay so look at this the endpoints are not villains I told you in type 2 simple problem when you plug in the endpoints on the function you get infinity and it is obvious when you plug in 0 you are going to get infinity and 0 is a number in between minus 1 and 2 0 is a number in between minus 1 and 2 and 0 is the villain so what is the first thing to do yeah use properties of definite integrals and split it 1 by x cube dx now what you do is the villain is 0 so you go a little bit backwards and a little bit forwards and here you write limit h dash tends to 0 and here you write limit h tends to 0 so this is actually type 2 special case special case means the villain the point of singularity will be in between the function okay now in the next step it's all about evaluation so I'm going to write integral 1 by x cube that is what I told you we had to do x to the power minus 3 dx and that will be x to the power minus 3 plus 1 by minus 3 plus 1 plus c and this is minus 2 and we get 1 by 2 into 1 by x square plus c so i is equal to limit h tends to 0 so the integral is ready 
minus 1 by 2 1 by x square within the limits minus 1 to minus h plus limit h dash tends to 0 minus 1 by 2 1 by x square within the limits h dash to 2 ok so this minus 1 by 2 comes outside and limit h tends to 0 uh, when you plug in minus h you are going to get 1 by h square and minus 1 by 1 itself because when you square this it will be positive plus limit h dash tends to 0 uh, this minus 2 is already outside so 1 by 4 minus 1 by h dash squared ok now it's clear that this is going to be infinity this is going to be infinity and no way this is not going to exist so you can write the general solution does not exist now look at this this is type 2 special case in type 2 special case you should not stop if the general solution does not exist you should not stop you have to do one more step you have to write to find the principal value and how do you find the principal value very easy you just put h equal to h dash and yeah i'll do it for you and i'll even erase that dash so that you can focus better yeah so this is the principal value so minus 1 by 2 is already common and limit also will come common so we get minus 1 by 2 limit h tends to 0 1 by h square minus 1 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by h square wow it got cancelled um, that means minus 1 by 2 and this is going to be minus 3 by 4 so we end up with 3 by 8 that means the principal value exists so look at this uh, your conclusion should be like this in the exam that is the above improper integral does not have a general solution but the principal value exists and it converges to 3 by so we'll have one more video in which we'll discuss a few important questions on improper integral and that's it uh, that means in lesson number 20 we'll be starting with Leibniz theorem not the one for derivatives but the one for differentiation under integral sign so in lesson number 19 we will discuss some miscellaneous problem it's kind of like I'll give the question and the hints, that's it. And in lesson number 20, we will start with Leibniz theorem for differentiation under integral sign. So, as always, if you like the video, please share with your friends. And don't forget, go to YouTube and subscribe. And you can visit my website. You can check these things in the website because it will be in a better order. You can see the whole list which is meant for first year first part and soon you'll be in first year second part and then for second year first part etc the list will be visible uh, it's well arranged so i'll be back soon uh, with the miscellaneous problems in improper integrals so till then my friends bye